Hey guys, uh, I'm down in the basement tonight. Uh, I was doing laundry and uh, I managed to discover lots and lots of water on the floor. Uh, it's actually gone down a little bit right now, but the drain is plugged. And I decided to go ahead and check this water all over down here and of course I went over here and checked the other basement drain and sure enough there's water here too. Piper! On it! Go! 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 So... Yeah, slippery water. And I look down in here I'm gonna need to, to get some light and there's a little bit of water in there as well so that means that there's a clog in the main sewer line going from here to the street. And uh, this isn't the first time. So I want to show you what I do to fix it. All right. So this is not the first time that I've had issues uh, with the sewer line. And what I'm going to do is remove this plug. And if I am right, what should happen is all that water that's in the drains in the basement <laughs> is going to uh, come sailing out, uh, kind of like that. As you might guess, this is a little smelly. It's actually not too bad. It's been worse. It's mostly laundry water. That is a lot of water. Okay, so all the water from the laundry room has pretty much uh, drained back out. And this is a mess that I'm going to have to clean up later. But, you know, that's part of the whole job. This drain is going very slowly, but it is draining. Probably going to have to do some a uh, little bit of drain line from here. We'll see if I can do that later. So this is the beast. This is the thing that uh, I used to go and fix the drain line. It's a uh, well, it's a drain. I don't know what you'd call it. It's a it's a power snake basically. Uh, you put an end on here and feed this out and into the uh, into the drain line and this whole wheel spins I can and then it has various bits here that you can put on for different things uh, usually I'll use this one because most of the stuff that's in there is probably uh, little tree roots and things like that so we'll use that one first. Uh, there's some others in here that are more designed for cutting bigger things and some other ones. There's one that I made. <laughs> it actually works fairly well for some things. Um, so I'll get this set up and we'll, uh, we'll run it in there. Okay. It's been a few years since I've done this. Which is good. <laughs> so what we want to do Let's put one of these bits on the end. And 
Now, if you remember what I was saying is that uh, this job, if you pay a plumber to do it, is going to cost you upwards of 300 or more dollars. This is cheaper. So, that's why I got it the first time I hired a plumber to do it. Uh, and then I decided that this was something that I could do. So I did. And I have done it two or three times since then. I think this well, this was probably number three. So it was a worthwhile investment at the time. Oh! Hornets in my uh, in my time in the basement. So this little knobby doohickey on the end is a uh, is a press fit. Uh, where's my little tool? See if I can get you a little closer here. So this is a little press fit deal. And I press this in, and that will snap on, and then that little pin pops out into a detent. So this is locked on really nice and tight now. That is not going anywhere. This is the, uh, normally this would be a foot switch. Uh, because I'm laying down, I tend to use this between my knees, which turns out to be fairly decent because I can control my knees a lot better than I can control my feet while I'm laying down. So. That's kind of the gist of her. if we can uh, get doing something here. Uh, start pulling it back and keep it running and instead of pulling it out from the basket feed it into the basket go. Now you can see this I got it my hand tangled up
Okay, I've switched to the broadhead tip, which is a little bit different. This one doesn't really tangle up roots and things. This pretty much cuts through them and pushes other stuff out of the way in case there's any rocks or sand or anything else that's in there. satisfying things that you can ever have is when that drain just goes uh, so I don't know what it was but it was uh, I think it was probably some bigger roots that got in there and this thing uh, this end tends to cut through them more. So I'm gonna try and push this through a little bit more. Get past that bug. That's actually the end of the cable, so that's 50 feet. That's pretty much all the way to the street. So like I said, it was right at, like I said, it was right at the end where it joins the main sewer line is where it seemed to have the issue. Oh, okay, that's, that's much better now. <laughs> oh, there's still a big mess to clean up, but uh, the big part's done. Man, that's a, it's a good feeling when that happens. Uh, all right. See you guys later.